Pittsburgh is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Virginia's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the factor on the road. Well, Brett, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. Gives it up the gut. Number 25 with the carry. Gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. They'll keep it on the ground again, and they're not going to get it. Great stop. When you get in these third down situations, a confident offense expects to get the yardage they need on the ground. It's a good job by the defense to shut that down. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. So the opening drive failed to produce any points. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Fires out to his receiver, and he's taken down at the 28. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. So it's second down and about two yards to go. There's a play fake. Rifles at right. Complete. Brought down at about the 41. A good looking pass that time. Here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. And he shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and 10. made around the 40-yard line. the stop at the 14 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 14 yard line. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the oh, worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting that sacked, but getting hit team. like that? Yeah. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. 34, eyes on 34. Let's go, heavy. Let's go, heavy. Heavy, what you got? What you got, heavy? What you got, heavy? Get it. Go. He's taken down around the one-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. He 
It's first down. First and goal here. Let's see if they keep it on the ground inside the five. You know, that actually might have been a break for the offense. Sometimes tip passes can linger in the air and get picked off. Here's the eighth play of the series. Touchdown, Panthers. He makes the BAT. It was an eight-play, 80-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. I think the big thing there, Brad, is that they were able to execute the passing game. When you can get big plays and great execution, obviously you can move the ball down the field. So our score, 7-0. And they can forget about returning this one. Pittsburgh's really got things working right now for them. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, Get your offense out there. They move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Quick pass. Knocked out of bounds around the 41-yard line. That's a game of 16. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 41. He's got it out to his tight end. And down he goes at about the 45. You know, having a playmaker at tight end makes those linebackers think twice before they make a move. That could be just enough time for the quarterback. That brings him second it's down. second down, five to go. Ball on the 40. Tackle around the 39-yard line. Try and scramble. He's tackled at about the 39 yard line. It's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. They're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. Well, this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. Pittsburgh holds a four-point lead. Take off. Take off. Seven, nine, four. He scrambled. Decides to tuck it in. He's got space. And he's tackled at the 41. Not a lot of offense in quarter number one. But nonetheless, we've got a close game. The Panthers lead 7-3. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Oh, I love the 
toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. That's a great tackle at the 46. From the 46-yard line, first down. Looking for the corner. He's pushed out of bounds around the 28-yard line. touchdown of the game. That was just an excellent individual effort to find the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a six-play, 74-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. If you think about the challenges these two teams are facing, on one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead, and on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down around the 25-yard line. Number 44 brings him down at the 25-yard line. That makes it second and 10. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. And he is drilled at the 22. such a good target really anywhere on the field but they like to get him the ball in short to medium range situations first down 10 yards to go ball on the 44 He's hit and taken down. They get about four yards on the pass, and they'll pick up the first down. This quarterback still hasn't missed a receiver on this drive. From the 45-yard line, first down. Slings it, and he's taken down right around the 40. That brings him second and five. He gets to about the 31-yard line. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. This is the eighth play of this drive. Blue seven. 
tries to get around the corner. He makes his way to about the 22. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle, and he tackles him hard at the 21. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Runs outside for a nice game. Well, that's the second time that this defense has given up a first down on third down. You work so hard as a defense to get an offense to third down. When you get them there, you've got to be able to have somebody step up and make a big play, whether it's a defensive tackle slipping through a block, a linebacker shooting a gap, a defender in the secondary that's able to make a play on a football. Somebody's got to make a play, and that's what winning, the difference between winning a football game and losing is how you play on third down. And he's leveled at the five. Gain of seven yards. Play 13 of the current drive. And he hits him hard at the four-yard line. That's a team of one That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Four yards out. They're packed in tight on the line. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? Scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. It's fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Somebody jumped early down there. False start, offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. He gets it up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Virginia kicked this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Pittsburgh holds an eight-point advantage. Brought down at about the 37-yard line. Pittsburgh's going to use their first time out of the half here. From their own 37-yard line, it's first down. a bad play overall by the offense. The quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. Just throws this one away. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Third and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 37. Fires right side, got his tailback. The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you're gonna take your hat off to the defense. All week they preached over and over again how they were not gonna let this kid use his speed in the open field, and they really shut him down that time. Booming kick. He makes it to the 28-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. 
He's to the 40. He's at midfield. He finally goes down at the 34-yard line. So both teams will go to the locker room looking to make some adjustments and find some second-half offense. Pittsburgh in front, 14-6. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. And you can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But... You know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still still scoring points, still putting up good numbers, but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Pittsburgh up by eight. Across midfield. He's taken down at about the 41. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Flag down on the field. Might have been offside. Offside. Defense. That's just a discipline thing there. It's five free yards, and that could hurt. Seven-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 27. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held on to the football there. five-yard line. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Third down now. They need to get it to the 17. Pittsburgh is up by eight. And down he goes around the 11-yard line. good play here by the junior safety stepping up and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 11. Throws and he's got a man. Touchdown. They 
call it a catch, but the booth signaled down to the referee that they'd like to take another peek at this. Man, as I see this play again, it really looks like he made the correct call on the field. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. After review, they decided that the call on the field will stand. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is... They're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's tackled around the 37-yard line. That's a game of 12 on the play. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Play fake, looking to run. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. He's at the 40. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Quick strike, and he drops it. right around the 14-yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. First and 10. Ball on the 14. And he's tackled after positive yardage. And this play is number eight on the drive. After a decent pickup. Call it a game of seven yards. First and goal, and they'd love to get into the end zone and make this a game again. Defense and their short yardage package. Kill, kill. Raider, Raider. Gives it off. Tackled for a loss. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. Here's play number 10 on the drive. And he's tackled at the one yard line. This is where the defense makes a name for themselves. It's third down and goal from the one. A short yardage defense here. Done yet. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. So those big guys are going to walk away knowing they had a big hand in that score. And he converts the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Excellent kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Virginia's game plan was to run the ball, and they are doing it brilliantly. Uh, they knew coming in that they'd have to be able to rely on running the football. So far, so good. We'll see how it plays out the rest of the second half. Pittsburgh holds an eight-point advantage. They'll bring him down around the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, first down. Caught and a big hit. He stopped in his tracks. That's a game seven. That'll make it seven and four. Great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. The Panthers in front by eight. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. For the sack. Loss of six on the play. Fourth down. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Brought down at the 25. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He scrambled. And he's taken down at the 33. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Got it complete. He's out of bounds. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. Makes it to the 41. Makes the tackle, That's, That's good, good for a gain, gain of 14, 14 yards. First From down. the 41-yard line, it's first down. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down at about the 25-yard line. First down. Five wide. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. That ball had interception written all over it, but the defender couldn't hang on. I think the quarterback there was a little too intent on hitting that receiver. And they got him. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. The 
kick is up. It's got the distance. And he nails the long field goal. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 21-16, Pittsburgh, Virginia. Gets set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. This is only a one-possession game, so I think they need to regain the momentum and try to put this game out of reach. A score here might effectively end this one. And he's sacked. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen, but after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. They come up to the line here at second down and 14 after the sack. Less than three minutes in the game. He's on the run. He's taken down around the 30-yard line. Picks up about nine on the scramble. From their own 30-yard line, third down. Virginia is going to use their first time out of the half here. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. And that's three and out. Nothing going on that series. He's to the 40. He makes it to the 45-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Makes the catch and look out. And they make the stop around the 41-yard line. Most of the time, zone coverage will take away the out route. Not that time. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41. Now he tries to buy some time. He's at the 30. Tackle made at about the 21. First down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Scrambling around. They bring him down. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Just over a minute left. He gets rid of this one. Tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. So the play of the day, fourth and ball game, and the defense comes up with the stop of the day and what will be the win. So not a lot of time left, and they've got an opportunity right now, if they score, to put the nail in the coffin in this game. 
And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Virginia's out of timeouts. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. They give to the tailback. Gets out to around the 45. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. Virginia's team with a tough loss there, but the way their star played today, I think they can maybe build on that for next week. Well, I think that's the thing they've got to focus on. As you said, it's a tough loss for this team, but when you have a great performance by your star player and you're trying to build for the future, they really need to focus on his performance and try to build this team around his ability to make plays. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.